What's up guys, it is Deagle here, welcome back to a brand new video, let me know down below in the comment section who you want to win and why, other than that I do hope you enjoy this video and I'll see you next time, thank you so much for watching. Brock Lesnar is looking to further his unmet counter here. He's calling for it. Wow, I thought he was a goner. Oh, damage to the body. He might have it. To the back. Can he finish the job? Eight a pin attempt. He gets the shoulder up in time. Great job escaping, trying to turn this thing around. Close line. When a superstar is in a six-man match, one of the most important things to remember is knowing when to tag out and get the fresh member of your team in the ring. We talked about continuity many times on this program, but it's more than that. You don't want to try to do too much when you have other members of your team out there. What's Brock Lesnar putting together here? Face plant. Victory is on the horizon. Superstars in six man action, and how crucial it is that they have the presence of mind to realize when they need to tag out. Not everyone who competes is part of a six man team. He's not going to go quietly. No superstar worth his salt ever does. Looking to catch him off guard there, I guess. Wow. Here we go. Brock Lesnar is setting it up. His shoulders are down. No kicks out in time. So resourceful. Now the old vicious head crank. Look at the toy. Six-man tag team matches have been a staple of competition since the early days of sports entertainment. Two teams of three compete against one another under traditional tag team rules. Stipulations can be added like no disqualification, two out of three falls, elimination, falls count anywhere, or whatever else someone could think of. Matches can also be held in a caged environment. Six-man tags can be fought under so many different types of stipulations. Teams can be part of a faction, where three superstars have aligned things of a common interest. The most crucial aspect to a six-man tag team being successful is that trio's ability to act as one cohesive unit, three individuals working collectively at all times. So much can take place during a six-man tag match. This could be the beginning of the end. Ball. There are and if he hits this, this one's over. Brutal face buster. This could be it. Cover. One, two, three. Digging deep for a kick out. Clearly not enough damage done. Byron, you talked about the moment in six-man tag matches when all semblance of order breaks down. Many times the two teams are so determined to tear each other apart that they don't pay attention to who the legal person in the ring is or where the referee is in their 10-count. 
That's a huge mistake. In the throes of battle, superstars lose their composure and what was a six-man tag match breaks down into a pier six brawl. If you don't keep an eye on the referee's count, you could get counted out and be the reason your team loses the match. I can see Byron making that mistake and ruining it for everybody. Nailed it. Oh, what a clothesline. Forcefully delivered. There are times during a six-man tag match where the hostility between two teams overflows. The result is complete chaos and all six superstars. Oh, caught him. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Face first. Incredible. He's got the shoulders down. Byron, you talked about the moment in six-man tag matches when all semblance of order breaks down. Many times, the two teams are so determined to tear each other apart. Oh, caught him. Uh-oh. Dropped from above. He's looking good now, guys. Roman Reigns' chances just went from bad to worse. Plenty of fight left. And he kicks out. That's too early for that. Just needs to do more damage. Spear! That was vicious. But did he go for it too early? broken up. <laughs> Gut red suplex. Making it look easy. <laughs> Nobody controls the pace of a match Man. quite like this guy. <laughs> oh my God, a close line. The tag has been made. Oh, he needed that in the worst way, Michael. Oh, boy, he is rolling. Spear! He's got him on his heels and shows no signs of letting up. There are instances when a six-man tag match will feature a team where superstars have not always seen eye to eye or are in the midst of a disagreement. When that's the case, someone on the team must step up and be the voice of reason so the trio can function as a cohesive unit. Beautiful technique. His partner wants back in this match, guys. He looks rested and ready to go to me. His partner wants back in. Yeah, but... Superman punch! That has got to be it. Real close, too close for comfort. I'm just as shocked as ever. Spear! We've got a cover. Corey, earlier you talked about what needs to happen when members of a six-man team have differences or had differences in the past. If the team can't find a way to get on the same page, they will not last very long. Someone on the team has to step up and make sure for at least that match, everyone on the team can work together. Well, that's easier said than done. Just because superstars might be favorites of the WWE Universe or have a common enemy, that doesn't mean they'll get along. In the WWE Universe saw a dream team come together. One more look at it. And one more top. Down with a face buster. And there it is, boys. Oh, nasty impact. His shoulders are down. Six-man tag team matches have been a staple of competition since the early days of sports entertainment. Two teams of three compete against one another under traditional tag team rules. Stipulations can be added like no disqualification, two out of three. Oh, and he makes the tag. That was a game changer right there, Michael. Oh, boy, he is rolling. And he tags his partner in. Momentum has suddenly shifted here, Michael. When Brock is feeling it, good luck to you. 
Six-man tags can be fought under so many different types of stipulations. Teams can be part of a faction, or three superstars of the line because of a common interest. The most crucial aspect to a six-man tag team being successful is that trio's ability to act as one cohesive unit, three individuals working collectively at all times. So much can take place during a six-man tag match. Regardless of what type of match the teams of three are competing in, the members of that team, he's got the shoulders down. There's the kick out by Brock Lesnar. Remarkable. When a superstar is in a six-man match, one of the most important things to remember is knowing when to tag out and get the fresh member of your team in the ring. We've talked about continuity many times on this program, but it's more than that. You don't... Body Buster! Now he's got to capitalize. Oh, boy, he is rolling. Suplex! Oh, man, right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. Corey, you spoke about one of superstars in six-man action and how... Oh, I think this is the beginning of the end. Going for broke. This is... Oh, and he slips out. Wow, looked to me like he had it locked in pretty good. I guess not. I got right to the gut. Oh, man, right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. The great ones always explode when they have the chance. We've seen this before. He's looking at it. In 2016, the New Day found themselves in the middle of a sick and twisted rivalry with the Wyatt family. Things happen. Whoa, he, he works his way out. A bit of a Houdini job right there. talked about six-man tag matches and earlier you talked about one that caught the attention of the entire sports entertainment world the new day fought for survival amongst the darkness of the wyatt family compound in a battle where pickaxes and cinder blocks were used as weapons and automobiles were used as battering rams the new day versus the wyatts at the wyatt family compound was not your traditional six-man tag match but it showed what can happen when issues between factions can't be resolved through a sanctioned WWE match. I'll tell you what, none of the men who fought in that conflict will ever be the same. Over time, there have been various types of six-man teams that have been successful. There are family trios like the Guerreros, the Grahams, the Andersons, and the Von Erichs. There have been members of factions who have also produced tremendous six-man teams like the Fabulous Freebirds, the Four Horsemen, the NWO, and D-Generation X. We know what this means. Ooh, earth-shattering spine buster. Wow, I'm just as surprised as you guys are. Uh, yeah, there's no way this match isn't over after that one. Byron, you mentioned some families and groups that created incredible six-man teams. Talking more about factions. Uh-oh, we know what Reigns is looking to do here. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. Oh, boy, he is rolling. Oh, boy, he is rolling. Oh, my God, in the spine. That'll make your legs go numb. Ooh, what impact. There is no toppling the Roman Empire tonight. This might be it. Oh, my. Oh, right to the body. Larry. There's a bullet there. Teamwork is always paramount in a six-man tag match. Superstars want to be able to have a level of teamwork where two members of the trio perform a double team move in the... Going for the big one. He's making a statement here with this attack. Really targeting the back on that one. Wow, well, I, I gotta say that I'm in shock. I really... What an amazing six-man tag match. Here are your winners. Hall. The King. And the Spider. Man. What an amazing match and a huge victory. Nicely done. Thank you for watching guys, hope you enjoyed the video, leave a like and subscribe for more content, see ya.